Okay, here we are. It's uh, Tuesday, the day after uh, Juneteenth. This is Tuesday, June the 21st, 2022. So uh, that's what we got going on here. I'm next to the window out here, not much of a view. Uh, I see some trees and see the see the blue sky and I guess that's enough. Yeah, I can see the top of a roof as my uh, look at what I'm looking at here. Look at what I'm looking at here. Got a roof over here, just like kind of like uh, on the bottom here. It's a roof. I guess they got some clinics there or something, and then you got the green trees and the nice sky. So that's primarily what I have to look at whenever I'm in my room. Not much to look at. But then, of course, I'm just glad to be here. I took you a tour of my uh, my my humble abode here. It's a nice nice big room. Of course, they do also have this uh, they have this uh, moving part here. You see that? See all that stuff up there? That's to actually they put a net on people and they hoist them to the to the bathroom to take showers or whatever. So I guess that's uh, that's what they do there and. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's a good thing to uh, be over here, and of course, uh, sometimes I see people who are in worse condition than me, so I can't complain. I, uh, as most people say, how, you know, I don't I don't see any difference in your attitude or your, uh, you know, nothing has changed except physically, you know. But that's also very frustrating and very, very uh, depressing. But that I have to leave it in God's hands and I have to seek him to get my mind off of uh, those kind of things. And uh, I was uh, reading today in the Bible and, this, uh, and they said these following words here. I'm going to read from the Bible here. This is chapter 8. Uh, Whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself. And take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospels will save it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation... Of him the Son of Man also will be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And I'd just like to pray for that word there. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this beautiful day that you've given me and given us, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that these words will be able to be like a seed that will uh, go deep inside of us. And we pray these things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So it says here that you have to deny yourself and take up his cross. His cross is personalized. My cross is not the same as your cross. Your cross isn't the same as the pastor's cross. The pastor's cross is not the same as the evangelist's cross. The evangelist's cross is not the same as church secretary. The church secretary is not the same cross as the deacon. Okay, they all have different crosses, but they all have to deny themselves and take up our crosses and follow Jesus. Okay, now our cross is a lot easier to bear than Jesus, of course. Uh, they don't really do that whole scourging and whipping and uh, crucifixion like they did back in, the, back in that time. And, uh, and believe me, uh, Jesus had the power to stop the whole thing. So he could have done that at any moment. But he decided not to for love of us, right? And uh, the thing is that um, you have uh, you have uh, what can be termed um, kind of lost my train of thought there. <laughs> I guess those I guess those two strokes they uh, they do mess with me sometimes. But denying myself, you know, denying myself. 
especially in this situation, uh, people would say, uh, you know, it's okay to be angry. It's okay to feel this, feel that, frustrated, depressed, and everything. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think it's important to, to leave that in God's hands, to uh, fill myself up as much with, with, with godly things, listening to godly music, reading uh, passages of scripture, uh, commenting on it, and uh, also uh, reading positive uh, things, you know. So, believe me, I'm going to be getting that book by uh, uh, Nick Van Juvik, I think it is. It says, No Limits. The guy has no limbs. So, you know, it's uh, it's uh, really uplifting that a guy like that can be so uh, positive, you know. It's how I look on life. He uses his, his little limb like a little, like a, like a rotor <laughs> where he swims and stuff. So I kind of heard his testimony once and I, I read some of his book, but I'm going to read it again. And, uh, people who are, people who are positive, you know, I gotta, I gotta be, uh, reading people who are positive, hopefully people who are Christian and uh, even motivational speakers, uh, are going to be getting a lot of play from me. Uh, because I think you have to keep positive, and those people are always positive. And uh, we have a reason to be positive. I may not be a motivational speaker, but you know what? I got my place in heaven. And uh, I have had some people uh, to accept the Lord in, in my when I was driving a cab and when I was driving for Uber and Lyft. So some people say that we have a soul in this crowd. Now, I don't see that in the Bible. I see uh, the crown of life, but I don't really see a soul winner's crown. But even if I did get 10 crowns, you know, I'd still have to lay it down at the feet of Jesus, right? Everybody will, uh, because he is the King of kings and Lord of lords. And everything will be, in, in the end, everything will, will go to him, and, and he will go to the Father, and everything is going to be uh, as it should be us praising God and, and being with him throughout all eternity. So whatever happens here, a stroke, two strokes, like what happened to me, or uh, whatever comes your way, you know. If you, if, if you have to change your name like, uh, like Superman, Batman, and Half Man, if you have to be known as Half Man, uh, you have to get, uh, do it, you know, make fun of it. You know, enjoy it because you know what? That just means that you're we're just one step closer to being in the presence of a mighty, compassionate God. You know, I mean, uh, the Lord, He uh, He gives us all a cross to bear. We have a cross, you know, uh, and and that cross is made out of wood. It's pretty big. It's it's big enough to take us, you know, where we don't want to go. Uh, sort of like what Jesus told Peter, right? He said, "When you're old." They will, they will uh, gird you and they will take you where you don't want to go. You know, so it's been uh, 828, so I'm going to leave it right there. I think uh, Romans 828 is a good verse. I think that one's, that's the one that says, uh, let me see, which is it? I'm over here thinking of Romans, Romans, Romans 828. Isn't that the one that all, all things work well for the, for those who, which is that one? Sharp Romans in all in all things. Which is it? And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. You know, uh I'm just I'm just thankful that I'm that I'm alive and that uh you know everything is everything is going good with the therapy, uh, and uh, hopefully uh, we can we can get me back. Me, we, the, me, and my team, my team, my doctors, my therapists, my nurses, my CNAs. Hopefully uh, we can all get get me back to uh, even better. I'm looking to get better than what I was. All my numbers are down. My uh, diabetes is doing well. My uh, my blood pressure is down. My diabetes number is down. That's because I'm over here and they control a little bit. But so do I. I make I make good 
eating choices, you know. And uh, my friend David Dunn brought me some uh, some Snicker bars, so I decided to uh, keep those. And he bought me some other things, some trail mix and stuff. And yet I've been able to keep away from it. You know, I only eat it like if the nurses are going to be giving me apple juice or something because my diabetes is too low, and they don't want me to, you know, go slip into a diabetic coma during the night. You know, sometimes I get real low readings before I go to sleep, you know. Uh, so I need to get something, you know. So I'll eat a, I'll eat a Snickers bar and, you know, get maybe uh, some, uh, do something else, you know. So uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully I, I, I hope this lifts you up, you know. And I just want to leave you with a, with a, little, with a little song. It says, uh, Resolve My Problem. And then it goes into uh, Jesus is the Rock. And this is in Spanish. Resuelve mi problema. Resuelve mi problema. Resuelve mi problema. Que yo confío en ti. Resuelve mi problema. Resuelve mi problema. Resuelve mi problema. Que yo confío en ti. Cristo es la peña de Oreb que está brotando, agua de vida saludable para ti. Cristo es la peña de Oreb que está brotando, agua de vida saludable para ti. Ven, All right. Woohoo.